How can thousands of young entrepreneurs go from zero to making millions of dollars online? Despite what you may think, it's not because they're super smart or anything like that. So what's the secret? They all took advantage of a simple idea. They built a business that does not rely on their time. Once it was built, their business started making money for them and they continued scaling their success. And as of 2024, Shopify dropshipping is the best business model that requires no upfront investment. You just need to find the right product to sell. But I heard dropshipping is dead. Is it though? Nope. How do I know? Because I personally see millions of dropship products being sold every day on our platform. You see, after dropshipping for seven years, I joined AutoDS, a software that over 85,000 dropshippers use to integrate with their suppliers and sell their products. This means we know exactly what stores are doing well and which products are being sold. So trust me, dropshipping is not dead. So in this video, you're going to learn everything there is to know on how to dropship profitably in 2024 so that you can make your first $10,000 selling online and scale it from there. And if you're wondering why am I doing all this for free, it's because I know that if you're going to make money from this, you're more likely to use AutoDS and the more money you make, the more we make. It's a win-win formula that simply works. So let's start with the first step of making your first 10k, finding a winning product to sell. Now product research is probably one of the most important parts when starting your dropshipping business and that's simply because if we're not selling the right product, then well, no one's gonna buy it and we're not gonna be making any sales. So it won't really matter how much time and effort we put into building a really good looking store. It's not gonna make any sales if we're not selling the right products. So with tens of millions of products that we can resell, how do we know exactly what products are actually going to sell? Here is everything I consider when finding my winning products. First of all, it needs to have some wow factor or solve a problem. So either it's a problem solving product, for example, a neck massager solves the problem of feeling pain around your neck area or it needs to have a wow factor like some cool electronic walking dinosaur toy that you haven't seen before and that will also do the work. The second criteria of finding a good dropshipping product to sell is to make sure that it's actually in demand and one of the ways to do that is to use Google Trends and I'm going to open it using this link here. You can also just type Google Trends on Google search but as you can see right here I created a cheat sheet for you that you can use with all of the tools and links that I'm going over in this video and soon I'll tell you what you need to do in order to get access to this cheat sheet but remember to stay until the end of this video so that you'll have a full explanation of how to take every step the right way after watching this video get access to this cheat sheet and start following it step by step after this video explanation so how do we check if a product is in demand using google trends we're simply going to search for that product now i'm going to show you how to find these products but here's a quick example let's say you did some research and you found that cat caves are selling pretty well so you want to see if there's any trend for this so i search for cat cave and i'm going to make it in the past five years and worldwide i want to see if the world is interested in this product and here we can see that there is an upwards trend for cat cave so this is one of the ways to validate that it is a product that's actually in demand. We also wanna make sure that the products sell for over $30. This is simply because really cheap price products have a harder competition and they're simply not gonna be so profitable because of their low price point. Next, we wanna make sure that these products are evergreen. So we don't wanna start with seasonal products on our first stores with our first products. For example, if you know that Christmas is coming up or winter or summer is coming up, you don't wanna base your store around that because after the season is over, your store is going to stop selling. Now, this doesn't mean that selling season products are not good. It's actually very good to mix that in because you're going to get a huge spike of sales once that season starts. However, in the beginning, we want to make sure that we're making consistent sales all throughout the year. And the way to do that is by selling evergreen products, those that sell all year long and are not conditioned on certain seasons. And we're also going to be starting by creating a general store. This means that we're not going to narrow down on one product or a specific niche so that we can broadly test the market, see which products are selling, and then start start to narrow down on them. Now keep this in mind. There is no such thing as product saturation. Product saturation only applies to the way a product is sold. In other words, you can sell the same product that other sellers are selling with a better marketing angle, with a better way to advertise this product to your buyers, and you will make those sales. Now I've got two examples to show this to you inside the cheat sheet. Here we've got a link to two Facebook ads advertising the same product. 
So here's the first ad copy for this retractable car charger product. Here is the second ad copy. And as we can see, the first one got 5,500 engagements, about 600 comments, 1,800 shares. So pretty popular, it went pretty viral. But the second ad copy got 23,000 engagements, 1.7K comments, and almost 3,000 shares. So this one worked a lot better. Let's try to see and understand why that happened because they both have a different marketing angle for this video. Here is the first one, let's click play so I can see someone putting it in their car taking out the cable then I see other cables that they're grabbing then I see them unboxing the product and then connecting it to the phone so I had a whole bunch of information thrown in my face the structure wasn't really well if I move over to the second ad copy let's start this one from the beginning so we can see the product we can see the cable being pulled out and then back in again so that simply shows the product in action we don't see any unboxing we don't see the normal cables that the person had we simply see the product in action, exactly what it does. And this of course is a problem solving product. The problem here is having cables all around your car. And of course that is not convenient. It's not practical. And this product solves that problem by simply having the cable inside the product. And that is simply what it does cable organization inside your car. We all have cables in our cars and we do not like to see the wires sticking out everywhere. So this video here is the winner. This is the one that the audience resonated with because it simply wasn't as messy as this one that got only 5,500 likes, which is still successful. This seller still made sales, but this does come to show you that a better marketing angle will attract your audiences more, but you can still sell the same products as other sellers. And saturation will not exist unless your ad copy is exactly the same as others and you're not coming with a better angle. So those are the important things that you want to keep in mind. And here are my favorite product research methods in 2024, starting with the AutoDS Winning Products Hub. So if you're an AutoDS member, you can get access to this Winning Products Hub. And if you're not a member, you can either sign up. It's the best $1 investment trial that you're ever going to spend. And if not, just stay with me because I'm going to show you some other methods soon. But let me show you exactly how this works. So here on AutoDS on the left side, I'm going to click on Winning Products. And here I can see a whole bunch of products that are trending right now that are selling really well for other sellers. For example, let's click on this cat toy ball right here. And once I click on it, I'll get more information inside, including what other variations we can sell here, where it's being shipped from. You've got the shipping time here in which don't worry, we also source your products and we find faster suppliers with cheaper prices using our product sourcing feature. And we can see here that it's being sold for $31. It's being sourced for around five or $6, leaving you the seller with a potential profit of $25 per order. And here we can see an example of the ad copy that another seller is using to sell this product. Here we can see their website and audience targeting tips so that you can target the right audiences when you're going to market these products. So this winning products hub is giving away all of these trending products that are selling really well right now. Let's take a look at another example. Check out this inflatable air travel pillow right here. So again, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to get more product information. For example, this one is going to leave you with a profit of about $40 per order. And we can see the seller's ad copy right here or TikTok posts in this case, you can see that he got almost 50,000 likes just for this TikTok post. And here we can see again the seller's website. You also have a link to their website so you can click on the link, go to their website and see how they're advertising this product. And the best part out of all of this is that you can easily add these products to your stores by simply clicking on this import draft button right here. It's that easy to find winning products, add them to your stores and start selling them in seconds. I'm going to show you how to do all of that soon, including how to create your store and everything else. But let's continue with the product research methods. The second is the TikTok ad spy. So just like how we have winning products in AutoTS, we also have the TikTok ad spy. And here we can spy on other TikTok posts, other TikTok videos, other TikTok ads that are trending for other sellers right now. Let's take a look inside the system and see what it looks like. So this is the TikTok ad spy. And here I can filter things like I want to see posts that got over 20,000 likes and that have a call to action button of let's say shop now because I only want the posts that are actually trying to sell a product. And here as I scroll through, I can see a bunch of trending videos with winning products that people are selling on their stores right now. And I'm getting more information on the screen. For example, how much likes they have, 
the comments, the shares, and the text that they used in this copy. Here I can click on shop now on their call to action to get more post information, including their interactions, the interaction rate, when the ad was first and last seen, the video duration, the country, and so forth. I can also click on see original post to actually see this post on TikTok, but this is another way of finding trending products to sell. So from here, you're getting the ad copy, you're getting the seller's website, and the only thing that you'll need to do is find the supplier who's selling these products, all of which I will get to soon. But if you're using the winning products hub, you can simply import it to your store. We're already gonna connect you with a supplier and it's gonna make your job much easier. So TikTok Ad Spy is another way of finding trending products to sell. Next is using the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. Many beginner dropshippers like to use AliExpress as their go-to supplier when starting their businesses. And while it's not a really bad idea, AliExpress does have some really long shipping times. And today, customers do not want to wait more than a week to get their products. That's going to be really difficult with AliExpress. So you can use them for getting trending product ideas. I'm going to get to all of that in this video. But here is the new and improved AliExpress dropshipping center. We can find products to sell and we can also do a product analysis to see how well a certain product is selling. And here, as I scroll through, I've got some recommended products products, I've got some winning products, and I can go to a specific category. For example, I can click on jewelry and accessories and see what types of jewelry is trending right now. We can see the number of times the units have been sold, the reviews that they got, and so forth. Now, we've also got a full blog article on how you can take advantage of the AliExpress Dropshipping Center, of course, which will be linked inside the cheat sheet. So this is a good free product research method to use. My next favorite method of finding winning products to sell is simply by going to my supplier's websites and checking out what's trending on their platform. So it's similar to AliExpress's Dropshipping Center, only here you're just entering product categories and see what's selling well. For example, you can start with Amazon bestsellers page only here you do need to understand what products you can sell and what products you cannot resell however we are just going to use it as a place to get resources insights information on what products are selling well I also like their movers and shakers which shows you the biggest gainers in the last 24 hours so this shows you products that are trending right now for example this trail camera here looks pretty cool but that doesn't mean that I'm going to sell this product and it's actually gonna make me sales so I can search for trail cameras on Amazon and see how the whole category the whole niche is actually selling and one of the things that i like is that amazon recently added this thing where you can see how many times a unit was sold in the last month so here we can see that this trail camera sold over 1000 units in the last month so as this one over here this one here sold over 4000 units in the last month this one over a thousand a thousand five hundred and so forth so with all of these people buying trail cameras in the last month, I can definitely get the idea here that there is a high trend for this winning niche right here. So that is another product research method that I love to use to find winning products to sell. The next is simply by searching social media platforms for popular hashtags and trends. For example, you can go to TikTok and search for hashtags like gadgets, Amazon finds, and TikTok made me buy it. Let's see a quick example. So let's go to TikTok and search for hashtag gadgets. And here I can see a whole bunch of gadgets that people are trying to sell. Like this one right here, it's the same product with even the same exact video sold by two different people. And you can see that this one got 3.3 million views, this one got 2.1 million views. So something is pretty interesting about this product. Not even sure exactly what it is, but as long as people are looking to buy it, I'm definitely in the market to sell. And here we can see other products, more and more products. And if we click on one of these products, we can go to the link inside the bio to get to the seller's website and see exactly what their website looks like and how they're selling it. So here, for example, I clicked on this product that got over 2 million views. And you can see that this person knows what they're doing. They got another video here with 17 million views, 520,000 and so forth. And here I've got their website. So it's asiangadget.com. And again, I can enter that to see exactly what they are selling. And as you can see, they are dropshipping a whole bunch of different products right here. So this is a general store for all types of gadgets. Here we've got a heating mouse pad, a portable two-in-one pillow blanket, car motorcycle wheel reflector stickers, toilet seats, faucet adapters, and so forth. So this is a good example of a dropshipper that knows what to do, what products to sell, and they're doing a good job on TikTok posting organic videos to get free traffic to their stores 
and make sales with minimum marketing effort. Another method of finding winning products is simply by using AI tools like ChatGPT. I've got a link to a video that will show you how to do that by simply knowing what prompts to use, what commands to run to get insights on what products are trending right now. So after you did all of this product research and you found some winning products that you want to sell on your stores, remember that we're all here to sell for a profit. Making a sale is nice, but we actually want a profit doing so. And in order to do that, we need to price our products at least 2.5 to three times the source price. This is the only way that we can actually make a good profit on these orders. And that is what the dropshipping business model will allow us to do. So sell at 2.5 to three times the source price, or at least a $20 minimum margin. Now, before I move on to the next section, I've also included a product research dropshipping spreadsheet that will help you narrow down your winning products. So once you start doing your product research, add all of the products that you're finding to this spreadsheet. For example, the product's title, the source link where you found it from, and then answer these questions like, are you even passionate about this product? Do you understand it? Do you like it? Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? Does it solve a problem or have a wow factor? Does it sell for over $30 and so forth? If you answer yes to all of these questions and in other products you answered no, go to the ones where you answered yes to all of them. Those will have a much higher chance to sell on your stores. And that way you can narrow down 50 products to 20 or to 15 and start selling on your online store with narrowed down proven winning products that passed your product research validation that these products are going to sell well on our stores. Now, remember that the best part about this is that we can keep testing products. That's what I love about the dropshipping business model. We can sell products on our online stores without holding any stock, without putting any money into inventory. Once a product sells, we'll forward the details to our supplier who will then ship the product directly to the end customer. We don't have any physical contact with the product. And now I'm going to build my Shopify store so that you can learn how to do it and show you how to market these products so that you can actually build your store and make your first few sales right after watching this video. Now, if you want access to this Shopify dropshipping cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over and more that I'm going to also throw it into this video, just comment hashtag Shopify 2024. Let me know in the comments below what was your top takeaway from this video? What did you learn? And I will send you the link to this cheat sheet. Now let's move on to the second step after we're done with product research. Now it's actually time to create our Shopify stores. So I use the AutoDS winning products hub to find this winning product right here, this wireless thermal printer. Now don't be afraid by the high ticket price, $350. You don't need to start with high ticket prices. As I mentioned, any product that will be sold for over $30 is fine, but I'm gonna start with a high ticket cause this one is super profitable. Let me show you the stats. So this wireless thermal printer has a wow factor and it also comes to solve a problem. First of all, wow, I can get a thermal printer that can actually print tattoos of course, temporary tattoos that I can actually use or sell to other people. And second, it's a problem solving product because now I don't need to go to the store to buy temporary tattoos that come in designs that were already generated for me. Here I can generate my own ideas, my own designs and turn them into tattoos. So this website is for tattoo supplies. That's the main niche. So he's got all kinds of tattoo supplies, medical supplies, piercing supplies, and so forth. That is what this seller is going for. And as we can see, he's selling this wireless printer for $350. I can scroll through the product page we can see this whole black and white theme. Didn't put too much work into the product page and that is fine. You don't really need to just make sure that everything is in the right place and everything has a simple, clean look. So this is the product that I'm going to go for. I can see that he's sourcing this product for just $134.36 on AliExpress. And that is the same exact wireless tattoo printer. And here I'm going to do a better job than this seller. That is how we're going to differentiate ourselves from the competition and have a higher chance of selling these products and make more profit than what what these sellers are already making. And here is how we're going to do it. So if he's buying it for $134 and selling it for 350, let's see how much profit potential that leaves the seller. So $350 minus 135. I'm just going to round it up to there. That's $215 profit per order. Now that doesn't include selling channel fees. Like when you're selling on Shopify, your fees are going to be around 12%, maybe 15%, depending on where you're selling from and where you're selling to. But even if you take that into consideration, that's a lot of profit to make. But how do you know exactly how many units this seller is selling every month? One indication is by checking out their ad copy. So of course you've got this information on the AutoDS winning products hub, but I want to show it to you face to face. So you can see the ad copy right here. It got over 9,300 likes, 2,800 comments, 2,000 800 shares with a pretty simple ad copy. So you can see the video of 
you know, the tattoo being placed on someone's arm. And you can see how the wireless tattoo printer works. So you choose a design from your mobile phone and the wireless printer will print that design. The ad copy here is pretty simple. You can do a much better job, but this one says, Thermal printer also works for printing stencil tattoo, worth it. Now here is where I would use ChatGPT to create a much better ad copy for this product. Even though we're not in the marketing section yet, I can still copy the title of this product and ask ChatGPT, create an engaging ad copy for this product, paste the product's title, and here we can get a much better copy to use for this product. Now, in this case, ChatGPT made it pretty long, so of course I can tell them to make it shorter for a Facebook ad copy, but this line right here, unleash your creativity with the ultimate portable thermal tattoo printer, will already do a much better job and will look much better than what the seller did here. And you really don't need all of these hashtags into your ad copy. It's not really gonna get you much results. So there is always something that you can learn on how you can do a better job. But like I mentioned, if you're selling the right product that's in demand, that shows the product in action, that shows what problem it helps you solve or has a wow factor, it's still going to be successful. And that is more than enough to get started. So out of over 9,000 likes, almost 3,000 comments, and so many shares, you can be sure that a lot of people are clicking on the ad copy to get to the seller's website, which looks again like this. Then I can use extensions like SimilarWeb to understand exactly how much traffic this seller is bringing in every month to his store. So we can see right here that the visits are increasing every month. So this seller is able to put in the work and get the results. And we can see the monthly visits right here about 11.9K. So let's round that up to 12,000. And we can also see where most of the traffic is coming from. So what are the top five countries that are visiting this website as well as the traffic sources? So what's actually bringing traffic to this website? And we can see here that 50% is coming from searches. So someone is searching on Google for something and they will find this website. You can do that if you have a blog page. We're going to go over that soon. And you can also see referrals. So this can be another person sending a referral to this website or from the ad copy and others. So we have things referring to this website and that's bringing half of the traffic. So anyway, out of 12,000 monthly visits, we know that the industry average of sales conversion rates is about 2.5% of your visits. So if this website is making 12,000, or let's keep it exactly at the number, 11,900 visits per month. So 2.5% out of that is 298. So let's round that up to 300, 300 sales per month. And we know that the seller is making, what was the number? 350 minus 135 is about $115. So $350 minus 134 is about $215. So 215 times 300 sales per month equals a total profit of $64,000 in profit after one month of selling this successful product. That is a lot of profit to make off of just one product. And you can be sure that this seller is making that much by the amount of visits that he's getting and a 2.5 sales conversion rate, which again is the industry average. This is what people are making, especially when their products are going viral, they're making these sales and that is the profit that they're making. And that is a perfect example of what I've been doing in the last seven years and what I want you to do after watching this video. So we found our winning product. Now let's go ahead and create our Shopify store around that. The first thing that we wanna do is, well, sign up for Shopify. So if you do not have an account yet, use this sign up link inside the Shopify cheat sheet so that you'll get your free Shopify trial. And the reason that we want to start with a free trial is so that we can have time to build our stores before we'll have to pay any money to Shopify. And after the free trial, we're also going to get three months for just $1. So that's going to give us plenty of time to get our stores ready before we start making sales and before we have any expenses. So again, use the sign up link inside the cheat sheet. You'll land on a page that looks like this. And here, as you can see, you'll get Shopify for three days with no credit card required. After that, just three months for $1. That's the best deal Shopify has had in a while. And you'll only get it by using this link. Now, it is an affiliate link that we have with them, but it will give you the upper advantage of being able to have enough time to build your store before launching your product. So we're just going to enter our email addresses right here, start our free trial. Then in the next screen, we're going to get a series of questions. We can go ahead and click on skip all because we can get to all of that later. Choose your country where you're located, click on next. And that is pretty much all there is to it. In a couple of minutes, Shopify is going to create your account and get you to your Shopify dashboard. And here is our Shopify dashboard. Congratulations, you've registered your first store and you're already ahead of 99% of the people 
who ever dreamed of having their own online business. So now we started our three day trial and we can turn that into the next plan for three months at just one dollar a month by choosing our plan right now but you can go ahead and do that now if you wish to do so so i'm gonna run through this really quick and now that i filled in all the information i can see that i'm gonna get three months for a dollar plus my three free days i'm gonna click on subscribe and that's pretty much all there is to it so back to the dashboard the first option that we'll have is to customize our theme, but we don't need to do that just yet. The first thing that we want to do after registering our store is changing our store currency to USD. So depending on where you're selling from, you're going to have a different store currency. So what I'm going to do is click on settings here on the left menu at the bottom, and I've got my store currency right here. I'm going to change that to US dollars. Then I'm going to click on save. The next step is to purchase a domain. Now you can do this through Shopify and it's better to do it this way because then the connection will be seamless and automatic. Now, if you're not sure exactly what to name your website yet, you can skip this step and come back to it later. But getting a domain is pretty simple. We're going to click on domains right here. Now, right now we've got this temporary store name 012.myshopify.com. But of course, we're going to want to have our own domain name. So www.mystorename.com. So we're going to choose buy new domain. And in order to come up with a good name for our business, we can use free tools like this business name generator. So here, for example, we can give it a simple idea of what type of store we want to create. So since I know it's going to be a general store, I just want to have like a good general name, best deals or best deals online, then I'm gonna click on generate business name. Now it's gonna give me a whole bunch of names that I can use for my business. Not only that, it's also gonna do a domain name lookup for me. So I can see exactly what types of names I can actually connect to domains and connect that to Shopify. So here, for example, I can see Dapper Deals, Fabulous Finds, Trendy Threads, Fashion Frenzy, Elegant Elegance, and all of these types of business names. Now I can click on one of them, like for example, let's go with Dashing Discounts, and here I can see that I've got domains like dashingdiscounts.co, .store, .io. .com is not available here, but I can make an offer, but we're not going to do that. And as I scroll down, I can also get some nice logo ideas that I can have with these names. Now I can create these logos. I'm not going to use this tool because it costs money. I will show you guys how you can create free logos for your websites. And that is why I like to use free tools like Business Name Generator to get a nice name for our stores. So let's take a look at another example like this one right here stunningcell.com so that's a pretty cool name and i do have the dot com here you see how it says register so here i can go to shopify and write stunning sell or stunning sales sales is not available maybe just sell is available so we can see that stunningcell.com is available for 15 dollars a year so what we're going to do is we're going to click on buy domain and that's pretty much all there is to it we're going to click on buy domain here and our website will be connected to stunningsale.com. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I've successfully registered my domain after I got help from Business Name Generator to find a nice name for my store. And now it's connected to my Shopify website. And now Shopify is asking me to verify my email, which I already did. So in a few minutes, we shouldn't see this message anymore. And as we can see right here, stunningsale.com right now is impending. So it's going to be activated soon. And we can see right here that under my store, I have stunningsale.com. So my domain has been successfully registered as we can see right here at a custom domain and the next step before we add our winning product is to connect our shopify stores to AutoDS using the AutoDS shopify app so we have a link to it inside the cheat sheet again if you want access to it just comment hashtag shopify 2024 in the comments below let me know what is your top takeaway from this video of course do not forget to like share and subscribe if you appreciate the value that you're getting here but as long as you succeed with your store i'm totally happy about that so again we can connect to the AutoDS shopify app by clicking on the link inside the cheat sheet or simply on the Shopify dashboard, I'm going to click on add apps and I'm going to click on find more apps in the Shopify app store. And here I'm simply going to search for auto DS. So here it is right here. I'm going to click on it. Then I'll click on install. Here's the connection process. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install app. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Welcome to auto DS store added successfully, as we can see right here in our Shopify dashboard. And here on the left side, I can see auto DS under my apps. And now that we have that ready, we can easily import our product to our store and get all of the automation working. Now, besides the advantage of being able to go to the winning products and click on import draft so that we can import this wireless thermal printer and make more profits than this proven seller, we're also going to get more things like price and stock monitoring. So if the price or the stock level changes on the supplier's websites, the same changes will be made on our websites. So we do not have to worry about the product going out of stock or if the supplier suddenly increases or decreases the prices 
it'll also change on our websites accordingly. We can quickly import the products, just as I showed you by clicking on the import draft button from the winning products. Or let's say you're not using the winning products, you can simply hover over the products URL, click on copy, then go to the AutoDS platform, click on add products, single product. We can also upload multiple products by just adding one ID here, another here, another here. And there are more ways of doing it. I'm not going to get into all of the import methods here, but I can simply go to single product, add the URL right here and publish it to store or edit now in our drafts page so that we can optimize it before having it go live. So that's another way to do it. doesn't matter which method you choose, as long as we're going to get all of the automation by adding it through AutoDS. So price and stock monitoring, quick product importing, which as you can see, it got imported to my store in less than two seconds after clicking the button. With all of the product information inside, I can also automate my orders and so much more. So I'm going to get to all of that soon. But we can see the product right here on our drafts page. We can see that the store name right here is Stunning Sell. And if I go back to it and I click on Domains, we can see that it is now officially registered. So I'm going to click on Domains and you can see right here that it's not pending anymore. It's now actually connected to my Shopify store. And if I go to StunningSell.com, I've got this nice little opening soon. Be the first to know when we launch and email address. So that's pretty cool. Nice little landing page, even though I haven't started working on my store yet. But I can see that the domain name works. It's connected to my Shopify store and I can go ahead and get started making a nice looking store for this product. So now that our product is in our drafts page, we can completely optimize it and make it look good through AutoDS before we publish it on our Shopify stores. But before that, if you're still not sure which dropshipping supplier to use and you're not using, for example, the winning products platform to quickly import the products to your stores, then go to step four inside the cheat sheet. And here you'll see find a dropshipping supplier. This will help you find a good supplier to use for your business. And when you're dropshipping on Shopify, you can dropship from anywhere to anywhere. This means that you can handle your business no matter where you live around the world and you can sell to any target audience, any market around the world. For example, you can live in Australia and sell to the US market, for example. The thing is, when looking for a dropshipping supplier, you want to look for a supplier that ships quickly to your domestic audience. So if you're mainly trying to target the United States, you want to look for a supplier inside the US or if you still want to drop ship from China, you can still do so, but find a quick agent or source a fast supplier from China that can ship really quickly within a week to the United States. So where can you find a good dropshipping supplier to work with? For one, if you're using AutoDS, you've got the AutoDS marketplace and this is full of private retail and wholesale dropshipping suppliers. So this is your first go to if you're using AutoDS, you have access to the marketplace and here you can find tons and tons of products that you can resell. And of course, you have the quick import draft button to quickly import these products to your stores. And as you can see, you have some fast shipping times like two business days and three business days for some of these products. And I've got the smart filter system up here. So I can say I want to look for all the products that can ship to the United States that ship from the United States because I want to ship quickly and under supplier, I I can use retail suppliers like AliExpress and Amazon, or I can use AutoDS suppliers, which is full of those private suppliers that I talked about. And one of the best things about this is that some of these suppliers come with customizable branding, as you can see right here. So this means that we can ship out this product with your store logo on it. This means that you're getting customized branding, even if you're drop shipping. Now, most suppliers will not allow to brand your products. And that simply is because if you're only going to ship out one order each time, it's not really cost effective for the supplier to create your brand logo on just one order. Most of them will require a minimum order quantity. And then that means that we're not dropshipping anymore if we have to purchase our inventory in advance. So again, I'm going to choose AutoDS suppliers. And here I have a whole bunch of private suppliers that I can work with, some also being the AutoDS warehouse. So we also have our own warehouse with the most trending products in them. And of course, you've got the customizable branding feature here too. So this means that you can simply go to your store settings, scroll down to upload your logo. For example, here I've got my AutoDS logo. And this means that every time I sell a product with customizable branding, it's going to ship out with my logo on it, which is great. I've got the branding effect and customers will remember my brand and come back to purchase more. And one other great thing that I love about working with private suppliers, not only the fact that you're going to have access to unique products that most other dropshippers simply do not have, you also have an option to contact these suppliers and message them one on one. For example, let's open up this cat scratcher bed right here. So inside, of course, we've got all the product details and the different types of variations that we can sell. This one ships from the United States and from China, and it ships within two to four business days with free shipping to the United States. So that's absolutely amazing. And I can click on message this supplier. 
So this will open up a chat between me and the supplier and I can say, hey, how are you doing? I'd like to drop ship your products. Do you have a list of trending products to sell? And what are your best prices? Right? So I'm going to send this message and here you can start negotiating with these suppliers, have a one-on-one -on -one chat with them, get to know them, get better products, get better deals. And that is why my first go-to for finding a dropshipping supplier is to use the AutoDS marketplace. The next supplier that many dropshippers love to start with and have mentioned this in this video is AliExpress. Now do take into consideration the shipping times that I talked about. So make sure that your products can ship out quickly to your domestic audience. And also make sure that these are actually good sellers on AliExpress because AliExpress is another retail marketplace where other sellers or other Chinese dropshippers are there dropshipping products to you from the actual stores. So that means that there's a whole bunch of sellers on AliExpress and we wanna be able to filter the best ones for our business so that no mistakes will be made. We'll ship out our products quickly. So some things that we wanna look out for here is to make sure that the sellers have a lot of followers over a thousand is great and a 95 percent positive feedback and above for example this cat toy ball that i showed earlier from our winning products hub we can see the seller who sold it over 200 times and if i hover over his store right here we can see that he's got above average rating so we're looking for 4.6 and above and also make sure that they've been on the platform for at least one year so we'll know that they're not new sellers that don't have too much experience. Then we can see up here that they've got almost 99% positive feedback and over 2,000 followers. So this seller fits the criteria of a seller that we would want to work with if we want to use AliExpress as our supplier. And the next thing that we want to do is message these suppliers just like you can do so on the AutoDS marketplace. So you've got the message button right here. You want to open up a chat with the supplier and create a similar message like the one I just showed you on auto ds well, hello i'm a dropshipper i'm looking to sell your products can you send me a list of some winning products that are working well for you as well as what are my best prices and discounts and here you can solve a few problems one the language barrier that we usually have when working with chinese suppliers so do they speak english well do they reply quickly to our messages and these two things of course are very important you can also ask them what are their return policies how fast they can ship if they have faster shipping options and so forth so message your suppliers get to know them do your background checks on them before you select a seller in aliexpress the next go-to supplier is using any one of AutoDS's 30 plus dropshipping suppliers. So I'm not talking about the marketplace right now. You can use any of the suppliers that you can see right here. So we've got over 30 of them, including Banggood, CJ Dropshipping, Walmart, Etsy, eBay, Overstock, Shane, DHgate, Timu, which is one of my recent favorites. And the reason behind that is because they offer free 90 day returns for any one of your products. Shipping is free on all of the products. And this is what's known as the next AliExpress killer. So they're looking to make their mark. They've got lots of trending products, lots of reviews, and they've also got a price matching guarantee. Meaning if you purchase a product in the next 30 days, if the price drops on a product that you bought, Timu will refund the difference to you. So we've got price adjustment, free 90 day returns, free shipping on all orders. And by using any one of these 30 dropshipping suppliers supported by AutoDS, you're going to get a full business automation that comes with that when it comes to importing your products, price and stock monitoring, automatic orders, and other automation features. And these suppliers will give you access to tens of millions of products that you can resell. And my least favorite method is using 3PL or third party logistics. And the reason I don't like that is because it kind of takes you out of the dropshipping business model. Third party warehouses or third party suppliers will require you to work with them on a minimum order quantity. So if you want to sell a product, they're going to want you to purchase 50, 100 units in advance, like Alibaba, for example, even though Alibaba also has ready to ship products, most of them are manufacturers who will want a minimum order quantity. So that means that we can't really drop ship from them, but they will offer us better prices because we're buying them in bulk. But again, not recommended for beginners and definitely not recommended if we're looking to drop ship, which is the much better business model with a low risk and a very high reward once we find the right products to sell and market them the right way. So that is more than enough suppliers that you can work with to get you access to more than enough products that you can sell. On top of that, I also added some more resources inside the cheat sheet if you want to learn a little bit more about suppliers and what other suppliers you can work with, including the top 17 Shopify dropshipping suppliers, top 15 fast dropshipping suppliers, and 25 plus best USA dropshipping suppliers. All of that content inside, not going to get into it now. You all have it in the cheat sheet. Again, hashtag Shopify 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. 
video and I'll send you a copy to that. So after you found your supplier, whether it's from there, whether it's from the marketplace, you added it to your store using the quick product importing options that I showed you and you'll have the product right here ready for optimization before you go live. So here we can change things like the product's title, the collection that we want to add it to, the tags that was automated for us, but of course we can add more tags like electronics, consumer electronics, maybe wireless printers, and other tags that you can add now. So later on when you'll have a whole bunch of products on your store, you can go to the products page and see all of the products that you have and filter the products by the tags so that you can see exactly how well each tag is performing instead of seeing all of the products all at once. And more things like country location, all the automation settings that we want to have on, the products description, which we will want to optimize. So of course, we've got everything here that was moved from the suppliers page. In this case here, we've got the title and we've got the description on AliExpress. So all of that moved to our product description and product title inside AutoDS. So we didn't have to do any of this manually. So this saves us a whole bunch of time, but we're still going to optimize this. And we've also got the variations right here. So all of the variations got uploaded, all the variations that we can see right here on AliExpress got imported also to our stores. We can see that they're all in stock. They've all been priced, even though we will be changing the prices. Our break even on Shopify is anywhere between 12 to 15%. I'll also leave you a link to Shopify selling fees inside the cheat sheet if you want to get to know that. But in any case, I showed you how to price your products. So we're going to do that soon. And we can see here all of the products images from AliExpress got imported, of course, to our product page on AutoDS. And we can play around with it. We can select other main images. We also have a professional image editor where we can add text, add watermarks and add logos to our images. And we've got item specifications. So again, all of this was automated for us. All we had to do was click a button to import it from our supplier to our stores all by using AutoDS. Now, one good way to optimize your product title and description is to do it using artificial intelligence. It's the next best thing and it's helping us save so much time and creativity, even though we're still going to mix in our own. But again, here we do not want to have the same titles and text as our suppliers and as our competitors. So I'm going to use optimized title with artificial intelligence. I can go for either the title, the description, description or title and description. I've got the type of tone that I can use, the tone for the description, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on AI rewrite. So right now it's rewriting my title in my description, making it better, making it unique and making it more sellable. Okay. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I've got a new title right here. I've got a better description as we can see right here, professional thermal tattoo printer with Bluetooth connectivity. And here in the description, the portable thermal tattoo printer transfer machine is a professional device that allows you to easily create tattoo stencils and print line drawings and photos with its compact dimensions and so forth. So this already looks better than this title right here with random relevant keywords being thrown into the title, but the title doesn't have any type of logic into it. And of course, this description simply does not look good. They jump straight to dimensions. There are no explanations on what this product is. There is nothing that makes it sound good and sellable like the description that we've got right here. And all of this was done automatically using the AI rewrite tool for the titles and product descriptions. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And that is all there is to it. I've got my title here and I've got my updated description here. Now, of course, we're still going to play around with it. We're still going to make it look better, but we already have a really good rough draft for what we need. So I'm going to go ahead now and click import to import it to my store so that you'll see what it looks like on my Shopify store. Now that I have my first product uploaded, the product has been imported to your store. Okay, cool. So I can click on here to view the details. I can see that this professional thermal tattoo printer was imported to my stunning sales store on Shopify. So I'm going to go back to my Shopify store and here on the products page, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh that to see my product. And lo and behold, here it is with that optimized title that I got using the AI rewrite tool. So I'm going to click on it to go inside the product listing. And here we can see the title and the description, which we will optimize soon. We can, of course, also do that through AutoDS. And here we've got all the images, all of the different variations, everything that was completely automated for us. So that is going to save us hours of work. And now everything is going to be automated with this product. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this product page look good, because if I preview it right now, you'll see that it's starting to look good. It's starting to have some type of form. However, it still doesn't look as professional as I want it to look. I want to add some images here in the description. I want to make it more readable. And I also want to add this video that we have from our supplier. 
This way we'll make a product page that looks really good. And if you want to get more info on how to do that, you can read about the 10 ways to increase your Shopify product pages, as well as the eight best Shopify dropshipping review apps so that you can learn about some of the best review apps that you can use to also import reviews to your product page and make your product page more sellable with social proof on other customers that bought this product. So you can add the reviews to this page and make it look even better. But in any case, I'm going to go ahead and optimize this product page now and show you the results. So I finished doing a quick product page optimization and this is what the product page looks like now. So I've got the title here, even though I do think it's a little bit too long. So let's go back and edit it. We can do it from Shopify. We can do it from AutoDS. It really doesn't matter. However, it's best to do the changes on AutoDS so that it will be synchronized better on both platforms. So I'm just going to remove the whole high quality line drawing and photo printing. Everything else we can click includes 50 sheets of A4 paper. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And here on Shopify, I can see that the title was already refreshed without the long title. So let's go ahead and preview the page. Okay, so professional thermal tattoo printer with Bluetooth connectivity and stencil maker includes 50 sheets of A4 paper. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the website that's actually selling this product that's making crazy sales is only selling it in one variation. However, we're a little bit smarter. We have everything on automation, so it's much easier for us to create more variations for this product. So when we imported this product, it imported with all of the suppliers variations inside. So we're not just selling the black machine. We're also selling the black kit that comes with more thermal paper, the white kit. So we've also got the white color, black machine, white machine, black kit, white kit right? So the kits come with the thermal papers and the regular ones just come with the printers. Whereas he's selling only the printer without the actual thermal papers. So this is one of our advantages. We're already going to create a better offer by giving our customers more options to choose from. And one of the things that I like about here is that you can continue adding more variations through AutoDS using any one of the 30 plus supported suppliers. So this means that I can go to Timu or Amazon or any other supplier and add more products, more variations to this product page. And this way you're going to get a product page that no other dropshipper has giving you a huge advantage over the competition. So if he's selling the regular version for $350, we're going to sell it for $340. We're still going to make over $200 in profit, which is absolutely crazy for just selling one unit. And we're going to sell way more than that. So back on AutoDS, we're not in the drafts because we already imported it. We're now in the products page and here we can see the product. We can optimize it. So let's sell the regular version as we can see right here, the regular machine without the extra thermal paper for $340. So $339.99. Now here, what I want to do is also have a compare price. This is pretty cool because it creates that price slasher effect on Shopify, which also looks good. So I'm going to make it a 30% price drop. So it's going to increase my price by 30%, then lower it back to $339.99 after the price slasher. And we also want to include the shipping price inside. So this means that if our supplier is going to charge us for shipping, we want AutoDS to take that into consideration, take the shipping price, add it to the source price so that we can still offer free shipping to our customers. Even though we're paying for shipping, we're still going to make the same amount of profit. So $339.99 with a 30% price slasher, we're going to also do the same to the second variation for the white color. Okay, so $339.99 with 30% compare price. And now the kits that actually come with thermal paper, just so that if the price changes on my supplier's website, it'll also change on mine. I still want to keep that 0.99 or it can also be 0.97. Okay, so whatever trick you want to use to just make it look better. Next, we've got the kit. So this one obviously needs to sell for more because it comes with the extra thermal paper. So the price difference with the supplier is about $18. So let's raise it by another $30. This means that we're going to sell them for $369.99. We're going to round the cents and we're going to make a let's put a 40 percent price drop on this one and same for the second variation so 369.99 rounding the cents and comparing 30 percent price slasher and you, you can just see the substantial amount of profit that we're going to make here once we sell these products okay so the prices are set i'm just going to go ahead and click on save then we're going to head back to shopify and I'm going to refresh the product page so we can see the old prices for the variations here. And here we've got the updated prices, so 370 and 340. 
Now, I want the customers to see the $340 variations first, because as we see here on the product page, we can see that the kits are first and they have the more expensive prices. I want the regular ones to be first with the cheaper prices, but you can already see the price slashing feature here. So the price dropped by 30% and the slashing feature simply looks better. It also gave me this sell icon here. But again, I want these variations to be seen first because they're cheaper. So on Shopify, I'm simply going to go to the variant section here. And I'm going to click on edit and make sure that the white and the black are first. I'm not going to call it machine. I'll just call it white and black and the black. I'll call it black and thermal paper and same thing for white. Let's call it black kit with thermal paper and white kit with thermal paper. Okay, I'm going to click on done. I'm going to click on save and let's go ahead and make sure that it looks better now. Okay, so it looks pretty good. The only thing is something happened with the image for the variation for the black variation. It doesn't have an image. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So this is how we compromise and continue optimizing our product pages to make them look good. So here I've got the black one and I can see that there really is no image to it. So I'm just going to select an image. I already have the image right here. I'm going to click on done and I want the black one to show first because it has the white background, which makes more sense since I'm going with a white background too. So on the variations, I'll just make sure that the black one is first. And instead of calling it color, I'll call it color and kit. Okay, so we're gonna click on save and let's preview it one more time before we move forward. Okay, so we've got the black one first, and then the white, then black with thermal paper, and white with thermal paper. Color and kit is the name of the variations. We've got the price slashers. Everything is starting to look better. Now, what are some of the things that I did to edit my product page? Before I start to scroll, we've got a better product title. It's shortened, it's professional, it's right on point. We've got the variations as I just showed you, the price slasher, add to cart buy now, which was added automatically by Shopify. And then we've got the product description, which was redone for us using the AI title and description generator, as well as I added some product images in between the text to make it make sense and make it simply more visually appealing for the viewer. So as we can see, we've got a small description here with the dimensions. So because there's dimensions here, I added an image with dimensions. So everything, of course, makes sense and has a logical flow. Then we've got some more technical specific features and benefits that this wireless thermal printer has. And then what I did was I downloaded the video from my supplier's website by using an extension called Save Plus that was added as a link inside the dropshipping cheat sheet, which I will provide to you. So that allowed me to download the video to AliExpress. Then I uploaded it quickly to YouTube so that I could embed it inside my product page. So you can see that I can click on play here and I've got the products video right here. So here you have a video showcasing the product. You've got images and as I continue to scroll, we've got more text, more images, more text, more images, as well as the video here on the left side and more gallery images here on the left. So here, of course, we can do more things to make our product page stand out, like adding the review apps here at the bottom, adding some really good Shopify apps, which I'll talk about soon, like the sticky add to cart at the bottom of your product page so that the customer will always be able to check out and add this product to their carts instead of this button right here. So if they scroll down, they don't see it anymore. They'll still be able to add it to their carts and more ways to optimize your product pages, all of which I cannot add to this video because I simply don't want it to be four hours long, but you have all the information and everything that you need. So we already have a product page that looks pretty good and it only took me a few minutes to do it. So let's do a quick recap. We're creating a Shopify store using the dropshipping business model to make ourselves a nice little passive income. We started by product research, finding winning products to sell and learning how to validate these products to make sure that they are going to sell, that they are trending, that they are in demand, that people will actually buy them. Then we went ahead and registered our Shopify store using the free Shopify trial link inside the cheat sheet so that we can get a long trial from Shopify so that we'll have enough time to build our stores before we have any expenses. Then we did some basic store setup like changing our store currency, generating a nice business name and connecting a domain, our own www.rstorename.com. Then we imported the product to our stores and learn about how to find the best dropshipping suppliers for our business. Now, even if you found those suppliers, I still haven't talked about product sourcing, which I will also talk about soon. So even if you think you found the best suppliers for your products, that's great. Add them to your stores and soon I'll show you how you can source even better ones, even if you already found your suppliers and your products. Then after importing it to our store, we learned how to optimize our product page and make it look really good, make it ready to start making sales and make it stand out from our competitors by adding more variations, a better pricing system, having a professional title, a good looking description, and simply making sure that we're better than our competitors, making a better offer, giving our customers more options, making sure that we have the upper hand. And all of this only took a few minutes to do. 
Now the product page is really important because when we start to market our products, soon we're gonna talk about marketing methods, free methods and paid methods. You can use the free methods to see what works and then start using paid methods to scale the ones that work from your free methods. But remember that all of your marketing efforts are going to send traffic to your website, to your product page. That is why the product page needs to look good. It needs to provide the right information. And once that's ready, it's time to start working on our home page. So our home page is different from our product page. What some online shoppers are gonna do is they're gonna go to your product page and they're gonna wanna see what other products you have on your stores for sale. So they're gonna click on the main link to go back to your website, to go to your homepage and see what other products you have for sale. That's why we need to have a good looking homepage. The product page is great, but it's simply not enough. Now the homepage isn't very complicated. Let me show you all the steps to create a good looking homepage so that you can go ahead and start marketing and selling your products. So the first thing that we wanna do is choose a theme for our store. Now the theme is the whole visualization how does our store look what brand colors are we using what is our logo what is our cover image what other products do we have for sale now in this case i'm not going to add more products because you understand how to do that but i want to show you how to create a good looking home page so we've got the shopify themes i'm going to click here on online store and here we can see the themes so right now it has the dawn theme it's a free theme and we're not gonna go further than free themes. You're gonna start with a free theme on your store. There's no reason to spend hundreds of dollars right from the start for another theme. That's because the free themes are more than enough to start making your first few sales. And even more than that, you can continue using free themes because they simply work. However, once you do want your store to start looking a little bit different, you can use the profits that you're making from your sales, reinvest that back into your business by selecting expensive themes and other Shopify apps that can go along with that. However, again, it's more than enough to start with a free theme and I do not want you guys to put money down where you really don't need to. So here I can go ahead and click on add theme and then I'm going to click on visit theme store because I want to see all of the Shopify themes that I can use and of course filter it by the free theme. So I'm going to click on view all themes. Then I'm going to click on free up here. I've got 12 free themes, which again is more than enough. Then I've got these themes here like ride, refresh, dawn, sense, origin, a spotlight and honestly i think that all of these themes look pretty good but let's just choose one of them like this one right here it's called studio i'm going to click on that and i'm going to click on try theme so this theme is called studio of course it's a free theme and right now it's being added to my store and we can see it being uploaded right here inside our theme library once it's ready i'm simply going to click on publish so that it will take over instead of the dawn theme that i have up here so now it's ready just added i'm going to click on publish Okay, and now I'm using the studio theme. Now you can see this message, your online store is password protected. It means that other people cannot enter my website yet, but once it will be ready, I will remove the password and start to make my sales. So now let's click on customize theme. Now let's start with the announcement bar. So instead of welcome to our store, I'm going to use a different text. So here on the right side, it opened up the text field for it. And I'm going to write free shipping, free worldwide shipping on all orders. Okay, so just make it a little bit more interesting for people to wanna actually click and buy. So I'm gonna click on save. Okay, then we've got the header section. So here I can work on the header, this whole section up here, what it looks like. And then I'm gonna move on to the body of the homepage. And as you can see, it's already featuring the product that we uploaded. As we upload more, it's gonna show them here. And we've got more things down here that we can simply remove at this point. We simply do not need them. So I'm going to remove image with text. I'm going to also remove this image with text. Okay, we're gonna keep it very nice and simple. This slideshow here, we also do not need it. So here I've got the important things that I wanna see, but it still doesn't look as good as I want it to. So I'm gonna continue working on this and I'm gonna show you the results and exactly what I did. So the homepage is pretty much ready. It took me about 15 minutes and here's everything that I did. So as we know, we've got the top announcement bar, free worldwide shipping on all orders. We've got stunning sale, which is the store name. And if you want to edit your store name, just go to your Shopify dashboard, click on settings. And here under store details, we're going to click on edit right up here. And you've got the store name right here. So that is showing up here. Then we've got the navigation bar here, which soon I will get into so we can create the right pages for our website. Then we've got this text right here. So we've got this rich text under the template, the best deals online at your fingertips. 
then another rich text block, check out our new arrivals. And I added this as a featured product. So of course you can continue adding sections, removing sections. I can add more by just clicking on add section here. So I added this featured product section and removed the rest of them. So of course I only had one product to choose here. And here we've got the product's information. So we've got the title, we've got the prices, we've got the different variations, making us one step ahead of our competitor. We've got better prices. And here where it said subscribe to our emails, I simply changed it to let's keep in touch. Just sounds a little bit better, more personal than subscribe to our emails and be the first to know about newest arrivals and discounts. So emails, of course, are really good for sending out email marketing promotions later on. Once we have enough email subscribers that we can send email promotions to, which is one of the best marketing methods that we have today. The only effort is actually getting that list of customers. That's why we really want to try to get them to leave their email addresses by offering them some type of incentive. Incentive. So this is our homepage, looks pretty good. Of course, we can continue adding more things. We can add a store icon up here. We can add a banner up here. It's not a must. We're still gonna make sales without it, but that's one of the things that we can do later on to make our store look even better. And I've added some nice links that will help you with that, including Canva and Hatchful, which are great free online logo makers. So you don't have to spend a dime to get a nice unique looking logo. As well as for the banner, you can use stock image websites like Pexels, Shopify Burst, and Unsplash, which will allow you to use their stock images on your website. Just look for something that is related to your store, to the products that you're selling and use that as your banner image. But I'm not going to add them now because it's not a must in order for us to start getting our first sales. So let's see what the website looks like so far. I'm going to click on view your store. So here we've got the homepage. This is what it actually looks like. So everything that I just went over. And of course, we can click on catalog, which is the products page. We can change the link later on. And we've got that one product so far that we uploaded. And here is the product page. So when we market our products, we're going to direct traffic to this product page. Page. However, when they click on our front page, they will get a nice looking homepage, even though we still have only one product, but it still looks good. It looks professional. We've got all of the important things, and that is more than enough to set up our homepage, our product page. And under our homepage, we chose a free Shopify theme. We have an announcement bar. We can create our store logos. We can create our banners, and we have a featured product, all of which I showed you. And here are a couple of tips before we move on. So tip number one, always look at the mobile view of your website, because most of the online shoppers today are coming through their mobile phones. And if your website is not mobile friendly, if things are not in place and don't look good, you're not going to get any checkout. You still need to make your store proportional for PC users, but more importantly, mobile users. So in order to do that, you have the option right here on Shopify on the top right. Right now we're looking at the desktop view. We're just going to click on the mobile button right here. And here's how our website looks so far on a mobile view. So again, the announcement bar, the store's name right here, the best deals online at your fingertips, check out our new arrivals. Then we've got our main product right here. And we've got the variations, so the customer can actually check out directly from our homepage. Once we have more products, it's not going to make sense to keep using this. You can show the catalog of products and you can show other sections as you add them here on the left side. But for now, the mobile view looks really good for our website. Everything is in place. Everything looks good. And now let's click on the product to go inside the product page. So I'm going to click on the menu. Then I'm going to click on catalog, which is from the header menu. And here is what the product page looks like. So let's go ahead and enter this product. Okay, so here I can see that we can swipe left and right for the product images. We've got the title. We've got the variations. Everything is in place. Everything looks good. Text, explanations, images, videos, everything that we set up looks really good for mobile. So it's already mobile friendly. And we know that mobile users are not going to have any issues when browsing through our website and checking out with these products. So we talked about having your website mobile friendly. The second beginner's tip is I already mentioned it, but I'm going to mention it again. Don't put too much time and effort into making everything look perfect. First, validate the product. Make sure it's a winner before investing more time and resources. Once we said that it's a winning product, we did add it to the website. We did optimize the product page. We did optimize the home page, but to a minimum so that it would look good enough professional so that we can start making our first sales and continue to build and optimize and scale our way from there. So more resources to help you out on that is linked inside the resources section in the cheat sheet. So how to create a professional homepage on Shopify, go ahead and check out this video for a more detailed explanation on how to do that. But everything that I showed you in this video is enough to make your first sales. Now, the seventh step is 
store policies and shipping zones. And don't get bored on this one. It's important to have it. Our customers need to know when our products are going to ship out. They need to know if there are any returns, if we allow returns on our website, how long the shipping and delivery takes and everything else. So how do we actually do all of that? How do we get all of those pages like frequently asked questions and contact us and terms and conditions and all of that legal boring stuff? We still need to have it and here is the fastest way to get it done for one we can click on the top 10 shopify privacy policy generators linked inside the cheat sheet and here you have a full overview on how to create these pages but to make it even easier we have links ready right down here under the 10 best privacy policy generators for shopify so the first you'll know that Shopify does have a free policy generator. However, they don't cover all of the pages. You have the links below and here you can see that you can create a privacy policy for your Shopify page. Besides that, you can also create a refund policy and a terms of service policy. They'll create the page. Then you can simply copy and paste the text into your Shopify website where you can create pages. That is done here under online stores click on pages and you can already see that you already have one page that was automatically created by Shopify. It's called the contact page. By the way, let's just remove the password. There's no reason to continue having a password. Let's remove the password from our website and click on save. Okay, so now my online store is open. Congratulations, even though it's not completely ready yet, but I'm not going to have any traffic to my store until I start my marketing methods. So under pages, I've got the contact page. I can click on that and here I can see that the theme template is contact. Okay, so I already have a template ready here. And if I view this page, you can see that there is this contact page where the customer can leave their name, email, phone number, and whatever message they want to send to us. We'll see it on our Shopify messages dashboard or send directly to our emails once we add our email addresses inside our Shopify store set. Settings. But of course, we can change the things here, like let us know what's on your mind. Sounds a little bit more friendly than contact. And you can write some text here before the text field. Of course, it's not a must. And here I'm just going to save that. So I already have this page inside my Shopify header menu, but we still need to create more pages for our Shopify menus. So we can do so by clicking on add page right here. And here we need to create our next page. So what are the pages that we need to create and the information that we need to have inside? So back to the blog article that I showed you, we're going to go down to number two, which is auto DS. And here I have ready made templates for you for your store. So you have a privacy policy about us frequently asked questions, shipping policy, returns and refunds and terms of service. So I opened all of those pages pages and here you see that you already have these texts ready to use on your Shopify pages. So this is the about us, the frequently asked questions, the shipping policy. So let's start with the shipping policy. For example, I'm going to create a page called shipping policy. Then I'm simply going to copy and paste all of this information and then simply change what's inside the brackets. For example, the first bracket is thank you for visiting and shopping at insert website address or business name. So I'm going to change this to stunning sell. So thank you for visiting and shopping at Stunning Sell and continue to change this. For example, shipping charges for your order will be calculated and displayed at checkout. US two to six business days change and add more as needed. So for example, to the US you'll ship within two to six business days. You can also add, of course, for example, worldwide up to 30 business days, just as an example, and continue creating these pages as you go along. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And now I have a shipping policy. Now the same goes for other pages. Like for example, let's go with the privacy policy. So we're going to create another page, call it privacy policy, copy and paste the information, click on save. And again, it's that easy to create your pages. So as boring as it is, that's how quick it also is to get these pages done. And once they are all done, you simply need to add them to your navigation menu, which is either the top menu on your website or the bottom menu. And the way to do that is to simply click on navigation here on the left side. Now I'm going to click on the main menu. So this is the top menu that we have on the website. First thing I want to do is I'm going to change catalog to products because it's going to lead to our products page. Then I'm going to click on add menu item and I'm going to write shipping policy and it's going to link to I'm going to click on pages because it's a page that I created and it's called shipping policy. Then I'm going to click on add and I'm going to save this menu. Now I'm going to go back and in the footer menu, I'm going to add the other policy pages that I created. For example, we already have a search down there. That's fine. I'm going to click on add menu item and we created a privacy policy. So I'm going to call it privacy policy. Then under pages, privacy policy, click on add, click on save menu. And now let's check it out on our website. So let's go to stunningcell.com. 
And here on the top menu, you can see that catalog changed to products and we've got contact, which I can change to contact us. Let's do that really quick. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and here on contact, I'm going to change it to let's call it get in touch. Okay, let's refresh the page. So get in touch. I'm going to click on that. Let us know what's on your mind. Name, email, phone number. You can remove things, fields that you don't want, like phone number if it's not a must. But that's how you do it. And we've got the shipping policy up here. So it only took a couple of minutes to create this. And we have our legal pages up and ready. So that is how we can quickly create our navigation menu, whether it's the menus on top or on the bottom, whether it's the main menu or the footer menu and all of the legal pages that can get done in just a matter of minutes. So again, you have the links to all of these policies, the about us page, frequently asked questions, terms of service and others that we haven't added in this video because you get the point, which of course is all linked to inside the resources section on the cheat sheet. Now, the next two things that I want to go over is the payment settings and shipping zones before we move on to marketing. One of the most exciting parts when it comes to running your e-commerce businesses. So payment settings is how our customers are going to pay us and shipping zones simply lets the customers know where we ship out from and how long it will take to reach them. And of course that is different than the shipping policy which is the shipping policy page that you have which we created the shipping zone is actually embedded inside the product page when the customer checks out they can see what shipping methods they are using so let's set those up really quickly before we move on to marketing so i'm going to click on settings to open up my store settings then i'm going to click on payments now here you need to choose a payment provider that will collect the customer's credit cards and of course transfer it to your bank account now other customers can choose paypal a paypal account was automatically created for you when you created your Shopify website and inside the product page if you add the product right now to your cart and check out you'll only have the PayPal option but you do want to give the customers more options more ways to pay for example even if they don't have a PayPal account they can do a guest checkout using PayPal but some simply do not like PayPal and simply want to swipe their credit cards so for that we're going to have to choose a payment provider now the payment provider that you can work with depends on where you live and here you have a list of all of the payment providers that you can use another way to do it is to simply click on Shopify payment gateways inside the cheat sheet and it'll take you to this website right here where you can simply type in where Wherever you live for example if you live in the united states right united states and here you can see all of the payment gateways that you can work with so for example you can see this uh, bit pay so you can go to their website contact them let them know hey hey i want to integrate you with my shopify website what do i need to do and they'll walk you through the process it's actually pretty simple but this is something that you will have to do in order to drive more sell conversions on your website because like i mentioned not everyone wants or likes to work with paypal which is the default method that you'll get so set up your shopify payment provider one provider of course is more than enough because they'll be able to support all of the credit card methods that your customers will want to use and then we've got shipping and delivery so this is where we're going to set up our shipping zones now if for example you do not live in the united states but you want your domestic audience to be in the united states because that's the main country that you're going to target then you're going to have to change your ship from address which is usually your default store address so here for example i can see that i have automatic general shipping rates that were generated for me and if i click on that i can see that all countries are considered international including the united states which is simply not right first i'm going to delete the shipping zone that was automatically created and i'm going to create my own next on the left menu we're going to click on locations now here is where we can choose a different ship from location so i'm going to click on add location and we're going to call this usa warehouse and this of course is for the example if the product is being shipped from a u.s warehouse if it's being shipped from a China warehouse, you can write China warehouse. I'm only doing this for example purposes, so it really doesn't matter what we choose. But when you're doing it, make it right for your product. Then we're going to choose the location. So of course, it's going to be the United States. And we're going to write an address inside the US. So you can just use a random address generator. And we're going to fill in fulfill online orders from this location. So now I'm going to click on save. And now that location is set up. Next, we're going to go back to shipping and delivery. And here I'm going to create a new shipping profile. So I'm going to click on create new profile and it's going to be called USA warehouse. And I'm going to add the products that are going to be relevant to this. So of course, it's going to be the product that we uploaded. And under shipping origins, I'm going to make sure that that USA warehouse is selected. Now under shipping zones, we're going to click on create a zone. And this is what countries we can ship to from that USA warehouse or from the China warehouse or wherever we're shipping from. So here I want to open up shipping to the whole world. So I'm going to choose all of the countries that I can ship to and I'm going to give it a name so worldwide shipping is the zone name and I'm going to click on done then we're going to click on rate because I want to add rates or in other words what is the shipping price in this case I'm going to give it free 
shipping. Okay, so we're going to add free shipping and I'm going to click on done. Now you can add additional rates. For example, you can say that if you want to ship to the USA, it's going to be for free. But if you want to ship to other countries like the United Kingdom or, or Europe, then you want to charge them a certain price. So you're going to create another shipping zone for them and you're going to give it a rate. Another thing that you can do to make some more profit is to make another rate called expedited shipping, even though you're going to be using the same shipping methods. And for this one, take another $4.99. So that's just another $5 extra profit in your pocket. The customer is going to see the free shipping as the first option and then the expedited as an additional shipping method. So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and click on save. And now our shipping zone is ready. Our payment settings are ready. Our product page is ready. Our home page is ready. Our legal pages are ready. And the last thing that there is to do is to start marketing our products, get traffic to our online store and get our customers to start purchasing. But because my pace is pretty fast in this video, if you want, of course, more information on store policies and shipping zones, I've added the links inside the cheat sheet, how to set up Shopify checkout settings and shipping zones, and of course, the Shopify payment gateways page. So marketing free and paid methods. How can we finally bring traffic to our stores and start making sales that is what we're all here to do let's figure out the best ways to do it in 2024 so my favorite method and today we have a huge opportunity with the rising of short videos with TikTok, with youtube shorts with instagram reels and so forth so today with short form video content we can get our products to be seen in front of a large target audience and this is the easiest way to make sales nowadays so the way to do this is to create organic short form video content on those social media platforms the only budget that this requires is purchasing the product so that we can actually shoot some videos on it. Now, in this example, I did go with a high ticket product. And I told you that for your first product, you don't need to start with a high ticket product. I simply like to profit and I already have experience in this field. But you're going to start with a product that costs, let's say, around $30. And that is going to be your expense for getting the product to your home. But hey, look at the bright side. At least you get to keep the product, right? So what you're going to do here is start creating videos for your product. Show the product in action, like I showed you in the beginning of this video where two competitors were competing over the same product they both had viral ads they were both making plenty of sales but one did do a much better job than the other however what you are going to do here is create lots of videos for your product try to create even 100 videos for your product and i guarantee that you will find some winning organic video copies which you can then use to invest back into your business and run marketing campaigns pay-per-click ads for these products, which I will talk about in a minute. We're going to start with the free marketing methods, see what videos are working well. Then we're going to add our budget into those videos to scale them even further and show them in front of our specific target audience by running pay-per-click ads. But we're not going to start with pay-per-click ads right from the start, which is what we had to do up until the point where we got the opportunity today to use short form video content to bring organic traffic to our website. So today we don't have to spend a dime on marketing. And here's an example on how we can do so. So for example, I'm going to go to TikTok and I'm going to search for wireless printer. This can get you an example of what videos are working well for this type of product that you are trying to sell. Even though these might not be tattoo printers, they're still wireless printers that look relatively the same. So you can see that this one right here got 6.9 million views and these are organic videos. Nobody put money into marketing these videos. This one right here got 7.9 million views, this wireless printer, and they all look pretty similar to our products. So let's just click on this one right here. Amazon favorites. This is a wireless printer that doesn't require any can use it to print images and text from absolutely anywhere. I find it super convenient to have for forms or when signatures are required. It's also lightweight and easily fits in my tote bag. That's it. That's the whole video. So 14 seconds of this girl that ordered the printer to her home and simply showed it in action, showed what she loved about it, showed how it works. And that did the work. 7 million views, 350,000 likes. You can be sure that she got tons of traffic to her store by just this one video and if i click on her profile page you can see that she's doing this for tons of other products so she's ordering a whole bunch of products to her store and she's simply working with amazon affiliate links so she's just getting like a few cents for every order as an affiliate sale you're gonna make much more when you are doing it on shopify and you'll make a hundred percent of the profits instead of just an affiliate so let's see another example let's see this guy that got 7.9 million views i'm just gonna click on his tiktok profile profile 
and you can see that he's been doing this for a while so this wireless printer here got 20 million views this one got 21 million views this one here got 2.5 million this guy knows the work he ordered a few different wireless printers to his home and you can see that these videos are simply going crazy for him and what he can do is choose his winning videos like these ones right here and run paid marketing campaigns on them so you can do that through TikTok. just open a TikTok business manager it doesn't cost any money and i'm going to provide links to you on how you can run ads on TikTok step by step on how to do it on facebook and other platforms that you might want to use and again what you're going to do is put a budget into the videos that are working well for you so again organic short form video content is the way to go today create organic videos on your products find your winners and then use that to put a budget on marketing so that you'll have lots more traffic to your stores and you already found your winning video copies so the required budget for organic short form video content is simply to purchase the product because it doesn't cost any money to start filming and posting organic videos the next way to get organic traffic to your website absolutely for free is simply by creating blog pages and this is actually very simple here on your online store you're simply going to click on online store then you've got blog posts and here you're going to create a blog post and this is actually pretty simple so if you're selling for example a wireless printer then what you want to do here is write a nice blog article about a wireless printer so I'm not going to do it now but I will walk you basically through the steps of how to do that so one thing that you want to do is search Google for wireless printer blog Okay, so everything to know about wireless printers. Why do you need a wireless printer? Choosing the perfect wireless printer. We're gonna open the top three blogs on Google and we're going to read around them a little bit and get the important headings that people are actually looking for. Okay, so we're gonna take notes of that. Then we're also gonna ask ChatGPT to help us summarize these articles and turn it into our own blog article. Now there is more information on how to do all of that inside the ChatGPT video that's linked inside the Shopify dropshipping cheat sheet right up here on the best product research methods you have a chat gpt video which will not only show you product research but also how to create blog articles that are going to be unique that people are actually going to be able to find through google and from that they're going to get to your website and that is another nice organic way to get traffic to your website and the third is email marketing so these are the top three free marketing methods that you can use and it's more than enough to get traffic to your website and start making your first few sales before you even spend a dime on paid marketing methods which will bring even more traffic to your store so the paid methods is running facebook ads tiktok ads google ads you also have youtube ads and if you're lazy and you don't want to create your own video for your ads you can use services like waving pandas i've got a link to it right here and what you need to do is simply send the product to them and they will create the video ad copies for your products use the link in order to get a discount on your first order. Now, in order to learn how to run Facebook ads and pay-per-click ads, you have the resources inside the cheat sheet. One is how to run Facebook ads in eight steps. It's a completely free ebook from us to you. Just click on unlock your ebook, write your name and email address, and you'll get a free PDF copy. And here you have all of the important chapters on how to run successful pay-per-click ads on Facebook, including how to create your Facebook ads account, installing the Facebook pixel, audience research, targeting, creating your video ads, setting your campaign goals and your ad sets, launching your ads and analyzing and optimizing your winners. And we've got the same for TikTok. So how to run TikTok ads for Shopify dropshipping. So I ran ads on my stores. I showed you exactly what I did, how much of a budget I put, what the results were and how you can replicate the same strategies for your stores and a written blog article on how to create a blog article and email campaigns with chat gpt so you have the video on top and you have the blog article right down here so this will help you understand all of these methods and how you can do them on your store and start getting your traffic and sales whether you're using the free marketing methods or the paid marketing methods and believe me once you've found the right products during your product research phase this will be a breeze you will get traffic you will get sales because you are marketing products that are in demand so don't worry if your ad copy doesn't look super perfect in the beginning and don't worry if your first 10 short video forms or 20 short video forms on tiktok or youtube shorts or instagram reels didn't go viral yet because the more work you put into it the faster you will find your winning copies the more experience you will gain and the more sales and profit you will get once you gain this knowledge and experience. Now, finally, that we marketed our products, we're going to start making our first sales. Now, this part can get super exciting, but we still need to fulfill our responsibility of sending out the order as quick as possible to our buyers so that they'll get it in fast shipping times, be super happy with their order. And this way, we'll have a much higher chance that they will not only return to purchase from us again, but also refer their friends and their family where they got this product from and how fast it was shipped to them. So this this is where order fulfillment comes in and this gets split into two sections one doing it manually 
meaning as soon as we get an order, we're going to go to our supplier's website, we're going to purchase the product, and we're going to ship it directly to our end customer. So when we purchase the product from our supplier, for example, we go to AliExpress or whoever the, our supplier is, we're going to check out and we're going to use our customer's address as the shipping details. As soon as it reaches our customer and as soon as tracking information is available from our supplier, we're going to have to manually update it on the Shopify orders page. Now, of course, doing things manually is fine, but once you get five orders, 10 orders, 15, 20, 50 plus orders per day, you're not going to want to spend all day just fulfilling your orders. And as soon as you start automating the process, even if you're only making a few orders per day, it's going to make your life much, much easier. So this is where order automation comes in. And we've got two different types of order automation. One is called fulfilled by AutoDS and the other is called automatic orders. And the only difference between them is fulfilled by AutoDS will use AutoDS's buyer accounts to fulfill your orders. So it'll make it much easier. You just have to top up your balance so that the system will be able to pay for your orders and everything from there will be automated. The order will get sent out to your buyers as soon as it comes in. Tracking information will get updated automatically on your AutoDS platform and on your Shopify store as soon as tracking information is available from your suppliers and everything will be simply automated. And automatic orders, on the other hand, still automate your orders, but it uses your buyer account. So you'll have to go to the AutoDS system inside the settings and click on buyer accounts and create a buyer account depending on whatever supplier you're using. So for example, if you want to automate your orders with AliExpress, then you're going to have to add your AliExpress credentials inside the buyer accounts. And this way, the system will use your buyer account with your payment method inside your buyer account to fulfill your orders. Tracking information will still be updated automatically. So if you want to learn more about fulfilled by AutoDS and automatic orders, You've got the link to each page inside the cheat sheet. And also, here's what it looks like. So this is the orders page on AutoDS. And when an order comes in, you're simply going to see it right here on the orders page. Now, an order can come in in pending status or it'll be in order progress right away, depending on what you have in the settings. More information on that inside the help pages. Now, the order statuses will change automatically. From order progress, it'll move to ordered with the order ID from your supplier. From ordered, it'll move to shipped once tracking information is available from your supplier. And it will move to delivered once it was delivered to your buyer. So everything is automated. Even while you sleep, even while you travel, your orders will get sent out as soon as they come in and you've got more order information inside for example if i click on it i can get the buyer's details the order details the products details and i can hover over this to make sure that it was completed by the fulfilled by AutoDS service i can add a private note right here and we've got the buy price the selling price the profit that we made the item id on the supplier's website the item id on your selling channel and more and more information so each order can easily be tracked and analyzed on the orders page on AutoDS, even if you have multiple stores connected to the AutoDS account. And that is another thing. You can connect as many Shopify stores as you want to AutoDS, and then you'll get a full business overview of what's happening on all of your stores or some of your stores, depending on how much you have selected here. So you can check out those stores' products, the orders, the drafts, and so forth. The next thing that I want to talk about once you do get these orders is that you can actually make a sourcing request. And this part is super, super important. So I mentioned that you can use suppliers like AliExpress to find products and even to import them to your stores. But once you start making sales, you can create a sourcing request. You can even do it before you make the sale. So this is actually pretty simple. You can make a sourcing request for your products and the AutoDS system will find a better supplier for those products with either faster shipping or a cheaper product price. And this way you're gonna make more profits. You're gonna be able to ship quicker to your customers and you're gonna get to know new private suppliers that can do a much better job than other retail websites. More information, of course, on how to create sourcing requests and how all of that works inside the Shopify dropshipping cheat sheet. Again, hashtag Shopify 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What is your top takeaway? And I'll send you your access to this cheat sheet. And now that we understand order fulfillment, we're getting our orders out on time. More information, of course, here, how to fulfill orders on Shopify manual and automatic methods. Now now that we're marketing our products correctly, we're making sales, we're fulfilling our orders, we're finally making some profit, it's time to start to analyze what's working well for us, eliminate what's not working, and continue scaling our success. So analyze your product sales inside the AutoDS system. It's easy to do it with the product tagging feature. Add more winning products and more variations similar to those products that are selling well for you. Strengthen your relationships with your private suppliers as I showed you how to do in this video. Send
send email marketing promotion campaigns to your buyers. You can do it for those who added to their carts and then abandoned the carts without even checking out. You have that option inside Shopify. And you can also do it to those who actually purchased from your website using things like the Facebook pixel that actually captures all this data. So again, if you take the Facebook ads ebook, you learn about it, you learn how to integrate the Facebook pixel inside your Shopify website. And of course, provide excellent customer support. Check in daily to see what messages your customers are sending you. Maybe they want to praise you for your good work. Maybe they have an issue with some type of product which you can upgrade to a different one. And maybe some of them want to even return the product and that is completely fine. Just go to your supplier, ask for a return label, they'll send it to you if you are of course eligible for one and send that to your customer. Once they send the order back, you'll get a refund, send the refund to your customer and that will be that. But listen to your customers. This will help you understand what's working well for your business, what you can improve upon and how you can take your business one step further. And if you're here for the long run, and I really hope that you are, customer support should be at the top of your list of things that you need to refine. Additional resources that I added to the dropshipping cheat sheet is a free full Shopify course for beginners. So this will take you step by step into everything that I showed you in this video, only it's broken down into lessons as you can see right here. And everything here is again completely free. Just go to this website linked inside the cheat sheet and you'll have access to all of these lessons. And you'll also have access to the Shopify resources PDF. This is a super detailed PDF file. Again, absolutely free with everything that you need to start your successful business on Shopify, much more detailed than I was able to do in this video. And as you can see right here, each page has all of the information that you need, whether it's your product page, homepage, apps and extensions to use, and so much more. So all of that jam packed with information and value inside this PDF file, all which you will have access to inside the cheat sheet. And you'll also have the ultimate guide to starting a Shopify dropshipping business. That's a full blog article on how to create your store from A to Z, upselling how to boost Shopify sales by using apps like Frequently Bought Together that you can add to your product page, as we can see right here, some really nice apps that can help us do that. So all of that information, which apps do it, what types of things we can do so that we can increase our average order value, our AOV, and make more profits per purchase and the best one-click upsell Shopify dropshipping apps. So more apps that will help you either upgrade the main product that they're trying to buy or add more products, more accessories to the main products and increase your average order value. Then you've got the 10 best product landing page examples for Shopify stores. So you've got a whole bunch of Shopify stores that are in there with great sellers making lots of sales and profits. Take some examples of what they are doing well and replicate similar practices for your store. And last but not least, the 15 best Shopify niches to boost your store sales. And this is going to help you understand what are some of the best niches that you can sell today on Shopify. So it's going to take you one step further in your product research. And of course, join our online communities, our Facebook, YouTube channel, dropshipping blog channel, Discord channel, and do not forget to start your AutoDS trial for just $1. That's going to be the best investment that you can make for your online business and for your future. Because all of the automation that I talked about is included inside that $1 trial investment. And a few more things that I didn't get to in this video, I'm just going to throw it in as a nice bonus here at the end. Since you made it this far, it shows that you're serious about this business. So of course you deserve it. So back on our Shopify dashboard, we have more information like our customer information who purchased from us. We've got full store analytics, which as you can see, it's pretty empty right now. But here's another one of my Shopify stores, as you can see here on the analytics section, where you can see that it generated almost $40,000 just in the last month, 22,000 online store sessions, how many orders I got, the online store conversion rate, which I told you the industry average was 2.5%. Here I've got 2.73%, the average order value and so much more. So everything is right here in the analytics page and you don't need to go anywhere else to get this type of information for your online store. Next, you've also got marketing. So I talked about the best marketing methods, but here you'll have the marketing dashboard so you can see what brought customers to your store and what they did once they reached it. And you can integrate with all kinds of things like Snapchat ads, SMS bump to send SMS marketing campaigns to your buyers once you have enough phone numbers instead of email addresses or on top of email addresses. And you can also run campaigns directly from Shopify and also send abandoned cart emails right through here. Then you've also got discounts. So here is where you can create some store promotions, some promotional codes and send it to your buyers either through email marketing or other methods. And under store settings, I wanna show you the 
the policies, which will also help you create policy pages. I know that we've been over this, but instead of creating the pages, you can just do it right here from the policy section, because from here you can also turn on the return policies. So this means that we will accept returns from our buyers and they will know that instead of just writing it inside the return policies page. And here you can write your return and refund policy. Again, you have the templates from the links that I sent you. The privacy policy, you can also create it from a template right here. So whatever method works for you, use that. Terms of service, shipping policy, contact information, and so forth. Click on save once you're done. And that is that. So good luck with your Shopify dropshipping stores. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I will personally answer them. Again, get your copy of this cheat sheet so that you can start the right way in Shopify by commenting hashtag Shopify 2024. Let me know what is your top takeaway from this video? What did you learn? Good luck with your Shopify store and happy dropshipping in 2024.